Hi everyone. So you're looking at the uh, version 2 uh, test device with um, motor and generator attached uh, to it. So instead of uh, measuring uh, ground force that you need to put into the rotor and then the ground force uh, that is uh, given by the uh, output cycle which is this reciprocating uh, linear action back and forth um, instead of just making measurements and then arguing about measurements and all this, uh, I'm more interested in uh, if we attach a motor on this, we'll have X amount of power, which we'll calculate by this uh, watt meter here going to this motor here. And uh, that's a gear head uh, motor, so meaning that the motor may be spinning at uh, 1500 or 2000 RPM but through gearing it's uh, reduced and the uh, output shaft, uh, which is a half inch output shaft, uh, reduces somewhere around 60 RPM or 100 RPM, somewhere around that range, depending on the voltage you put into it. So uh, I've got that actually adjusted so that the uh, unit kind of functions in a uh, synchronized uh, mode. So here is the uh, two uh, output levers that I've bridged together on uh, both sides. So here you see this uh, piece here, and then these two, uh, uh, I guess, supports, because basically this linear action is now uh, attached to this belt and these tensioners and then this uh, timing uh, pulley here on this uh, DC uh, permanent magnet motor. So that's also a DC permanent magnet motor there. And uh, basically I'll show you the action. So now when this action goes back and forth, that generates power. And if you look, I've attached a light bulb there. And as I move it back and forth, you see the, uh, the light bulb uh, operating there. So that's uh, basically what I'm uh, interested in doing. However, I don't know if, <laughs> you know, this is going to... Um, uh, be just under unity because basically this uh, motor here might be about 80% efficient so the power in watts that's going to go in there will only be uh, capable of transferring that in mechanical energy at 80% efficiency and uh, that is if it is in that range and this uh, motor that I'm using as generator is uh, in the same scenario. It can only probably produce about 80% of its mechanical power. So right off the bat, we're probably losing about 40% just between motor and generator. And then, well, we have these bearings that this is traveling back and forth. We have now all these uh, tensioners and you know bearings here for the belts and all that. So we're all having other friction losses. <laughs> so if we did have a 60% gain, uh, for sure we've lost 50 or, you know, somewhere around there percent, uh, percent, you know, by uh, adding these motors. Anyway, so we have to keep that in mind. <clears throat> but the idea is, is here, uh, I would put basically a uh, full wave bridge rectifier because this me DC motor gets reverse polarity on each uh, stroke here. So then uh, that would go in a capacitor and that capacitor <clears throat> would be basically you know attached to that motor and hopefully the uh, output would be able to uh, sustain the input and that's all I want to see. So. I kind of doubt it's going to be able to do that because of all these losses. If we do have a 60% gain, that's in its ideal conditions. And uh, but you know what we're using to recreate uh, work and you know to regenerate power, uh, that is that's not an efficient system. So maybe a mechanical version of it, of taking that output mechanically and putting it back into the input, maybe we can close the loop on that kind of system. Anyways, this is just out of curiosity. I want to see uh, what it does. So what I can do as well is once I do have that capacitor attached to it and the motor, then I could put the power supply and then calculate how much more I need to put in to uh, sustain the device. So I haven't attached the capacitor yet. Uh, I've just just finished uh, attaching this uh, motor, this gearhead motor, which I picked up today at a uh, one of those surplus stores. 
and uh, so the device is ready to uh, start up and uh, I've got the power supply set up at a place where it can kind of uh, work so <coughs> there it is turning on and right now the device hasn't been is just spinning freely the motor and uh, I just have to give it a push to get a synchronization to happen and there you see it working on its own there so that is basically uh, our input so about 10.2 volts at about somewhere around 1.3 amps in average maybe about 12 watts of power uh, to go in there anyways um, we'll be able to get a better idea once I have the capacitor attached to it and uh, see how that does. Let's see here. I think I had the voltage about 10 point. Ten point six. I think it can handle up to there. If you go up too high in voltage, what happens is the um, the rotor gets ahead of the uh, output uh, slider. So you want the slider to not really bang. So you see it there? It's just basically uh, doing the right movement without hitting back and forth on each side. And uh, that is our output bulb there. And uh, just showing you that, you know, that is being converted into uh, power. I doubt that's 12 watts, but basically that's the um, brake light. So that's the one that has uh, the least resistance of the, uh, it's a 12 volt automotive bulb and the, the uh, bulb, the filament that's on there is the brake light filament, which I don't know, it must be over about, somewhere around the range of 10 or 12 or 15 watts, 20 watts, I don't know, but it's far from being fully lit, it's only being lit by the uh, back and forth stroke. So there you see the generator uh, operating. And that might not be the ideal uh, pulley. I might need a pulley with uh, a few less teeth. And I have one coming on its way. Um, so there's a real delicate balance of getting this to, uh, to all work. I'll give you a view here of it operating. You can tell one side is banging a little bit when it's going in this direction here. You hear it hitting, which is wasted energy. But this side is perfectly balanced. It's, it's not hitting, it's only that side there. So there seems to be one side that's a little less stronger than the other. Um, yeah, so that's about all. So just giving you a view of it. And uh, there's the gearhead motor. And that is attached, that half inch shaft on the gearhead motor. And I have it just attached with a, um, a poly uh, hose, uh, braided poly hose uh, with hose clamps there. All right, so I think that that's the update for now. And the next step, like I said, is uh, attaching the capacitor and just doing some more fine tuning and seeing how much more uh, power I need to put into it and it calculate its efficiency. But I mean, even if we're at unity, I would say this would have a possibility of over unity because of these huge losses between this uh, drive motor and that generator. So that's it for now. Thanks.